Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we are doing a little bit of chit-chatty, get ready with me, haven't done one of these in a while, a few life updates, things going on, so grab yourself some drink, something to snack on, or grab your makeup and play along, but let's get into this. So I have not done a get ready with me in a while. Pretty much my face routine is mostly the same, uh, we'll say that. Did a little bit of shopping today, so I guess kind of kind of haul in between here. We're just going to talk about all kinds of stuff, but we're going to start off with my favorite makeup step, a little couple squirts of the Urban Decay Quick Fix, and then we're going to go into primer. Um, let's see, I'm going to do a more matte foundation today, so I'm going to start off with some of the Smashbox Photo Finish Radiance. Really come to love this product for what it does. I like to take it here around my perimeter and like down the bridge of my nose and here. And then I take some and I even put it like right here, like under my eyes. Love it. It's a really good backlighting primer. And then of course my absolute ride or die. Some Smashbox regular photo finish. Just where I have all these stinking big old pores. So whilst I was out shopping today, I went ahead and decided to get one shade lighter in the uh, Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. Um, it's, um, this is exactly one shade lighter. They just have different numbers. This one's 310 Sun Beige and it's okay, but it's just a hair too dark for me. You know what I mean? So I went ahead and I got 220. So we'll see how this goes. And then if maybe I have to mix the two right now this time of year, I mean, that'll be okay. So the biggest, um, thing, life update. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I did have my shoulder surgery to my right shoulder. They um, fortunately didn't have to stitch down the rotator cuff. It was pretty much just some debriding, cleaning up, and then they shaved down my bone, my acromion, a little bit because it's kind of shaped like that. And um, so it was kind of grinding into the tears. But fun fact, once they got in there, not only was there a tear to the uh, supraspinatus tendon, which is the one that kind of goes right here on top, but there was also, the labrum was also shredded. So that's why it would hurt so much when I would try to wing it up, and which is why it still hurts when I try to wing it up. So since surgery, I am doing physical therapy. I go that, I go do that um, three days a week, tart shape, tape medium. And uh, I go back to the doctor in two weeks, so we'll see, how, you know, how progress is coming. But I mean, I'm coming along well. I am back to work. Uh, it's like really light duty work, which is really, really boring. But you know, work comp, they get you, they want you back in there. They don't want you costing them money. <laughs> So, a ridiculous amount of concealer today. I have no clue why. I'm just, I guess I'm feeling extra today or something. I do not know. So, as always, I'm going to let that sit there, build up, and get nice and tacky, and move on to my brows. So, product I have fallen in love with. My daughter had this, and I had never tried it before, and she said, no, it's amazing. You really need to. It is the NYX Eyebrow Gel. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. I just cannot believe how it just makes easy work out of me doing my eyebrows now because you know I'm creating an entire eyebrow because I don't have eyebrows, I have lack thereof eyebrows. So I just painted on a little eyebrow brush and I mean, I'm just feathering that in there like super lightly. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Bam, done. And this stuff is like self-setting. And I mean, it holds, it really does. I'm just, I'm in awe over it. And I'm like, why have I never tried this product out before? What is wrong with me? One has like, this one over here is like my little wicked eyebrow and its arch is in a different place. <laughs> That's just the way I'm made. I don't know what to say. So as I was saying, you know, my shoulder surgery was very successful. I still am in a lot of pain. Um, it just, it takes a long time to heal, you know. But I am able to use my right arm. 
a little bit more every week. So that's good. So I'm just going to blend out this concealer now. It's had a nice long time to sit there and get tacky. That just makes such a huge difference. So now I'm going to go ahead and what I like to call half bake this. This is the uh, Milani, um, what are you, translucent banana powder. And I really love this stuff. It's really good. So I'm going to pick some up here and lay it down thick. Now I don't bake bake because I have fine lines under here. And if I bake, 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 it will accentuate all of those little lines like you will not believe. Like, it's not like the concealer or anything's creasing. Because, honestly, this concealer really doesn't crease on me. But it accentuates all those tiny little fine lines. So, so yeah, I put that on there pretty thick. And then what I have left in the cap, I'm just swirling with a little brush. And we're just going to immediately sweep and kick that off. And that's it for powder. Um, with this foundation, you do not, for me, with normal skin, you don't need to set it at all. I would say if you have normal to dry skin, it's it's self-setting. You do not need to set it. Those are oh so dry because it's a cold bucket of suck here in the Midwest. We have, um, we are in third winter. We're T-minus two weeks to mud season. Then after that, we'll have spring for about three days and we'll pop right into summer. So now I'm going to go ahead and bronze up the face a little bit. Oh, and I have a bone to pick. Nobody told me in one of my videos that I was sitting there shooting with one earring in. Guys, I thought we were friends. It's so funny. Like, I shot the entire video with one earring in. I even edited that entire video and didn't notice it. And then when I went to go back to watch it to check it, I'm like... I have got one earring on because I remember I had taken the one off and I was going to take off both and forgot. So yeah, guys, thanks a lot. Nobody told me. Anyway, I'm going to do some light contouring, mostly just bronze up the face. We're just going to go with a mm, semi-glam look today, maybe. Pulling out the Wet n Wild Contour Palette. This is the one in Caramel Toffee. I don't use this one as much. It's a little, I don't want to say it's a little too dark for me. It's actually more orangey than it is dark but it'll be okay yeah i mean it's not bad i mean it does it does contour but it mostly bronzes and that's kind of what i wanted to do today anyway we're gonna contour the nose just a little bit i don't know why i just always love this step i don't do it all the time that's deceitful i do it most of the time so is everybody getting excited for like winter to finally be over if you're up here like in the northern part of the hemisphere and north of oh i would say tennessee in the united states yeah i don't feel like we've really had too harsh of a winter we haven't hardly had any snow but then again we really haven't for i would say the past couple of years we've had some pretty gosh darn mild winters when it comes to like snow and ice but cold Oh my gosh, it's just been so stinking cold. So I'm going to go into the e.l.f. blush palette. This is the one in dark, and I'm going to go up into the kind of, um, oh, I don't know. It's more kind of peachy, subdued shade. I really like this one. And I love to hit the apples in my cheek. That's why I always smile there. Kind of circle it and then bring it back. That's just how I like to wear blush. You hear different, you know, some people don't hit the apples. They like to hit the backs. But... You have to do what's you, you know, what flatters your face. And for me, hitting the lower part of the apple down here and then just kind of pulling it back a little, that's what's flattering on moi. So what is everybody watching and binging right now? Or what are you getting excited for that's getting ready to come back? I'm getting really excited for season two of The Handmaid's Tale really really getting excited for that i'm getting really excited for infinity wars because i am so glad that my favorite avengers are finally popping into the avengers franchise movies and that would be my guardians of the galaxy i love the guardians of the galaxy drex may be my favorite uh, Chris Pratt could be my secret husband. So I'm getting really excited for Infinity Wars, that movie definitely. I'm really miffed 
that we have to wait till April of next year for Game of Thrones. But perhaps absence will make the heart grow even fonder than it already is. I don't know. I'm, I'm so upset with that. But I understand where they're coming from. And if they're going to make it that good. And I've heard a rumor that the episodes might be hour and a half, hour 45, um, and two hour episodes. And there's only, I think, going to be six. But if they're going to be like six mini movies... I have no problem with that to finish off this, uh, this series, the show you love to hate because it breaks your heart every time you flip and watch it. Just prime my eyes, elf liner, primer, sealer, stick. That's no surprise there because I use that all the time. And also what's no, well, it might be surprised to you, but it's no surprise to me. We're pulling out the soft glam palette because I am stuck on this palette. I'm starting off and play it pressed down. Blah, blah, if I could talk. Lay down tempera that's going all the way across the lid space up into the brow bone. It's going to set our eyeshadow primer. And I do have um, on my channel, I'll link it down below. I have my review demo swatches on this palette if you're interested. I think we're going to pop into Dusty Rose down here and throw that down for transition. That's a little bit dark for transition, to be honest. But I just went in for one little tiny light tap and then I'm just going to like really run it and shear it out across the lid and it'll be just fine. So lately here, a lot of my friends, um, especially over from the Geeks and Beauties group, have been doing a lot of Q&As. And I did one, oh, I want to say about six months ago with my daughter. We did a mother-daughter Q&A. But I figure, why not open it up again? So I'm going to host a Q&A. You can, of course, leave me questions here. I'm also going to post it to my Facebook. That link is down below. And I will probably post to Twitter, even though, be quite honest, I really don't use Twitter just because, um, I don't know. It's just not my wheelhouse of things to do, so I just, I don't do it. So I'm going to take my crease brush. I'm going into Mulberry. Oh, God, I love this shadow. It's like a deep berry. It's got a lot of plum in it. It's very much a burgundy-ish type color. It's just so stinking pretty, though. And you can, like, take it really deep, or I'm kind of, like, not taking it too terribly deep here, you know, it's on a wispy brush. You know, I'm just taking it through the deep part of the crease here. But you can, you know, you can take it like full on deep and put it across the lid. And that's pretty too. We might do that today. Maybe I'll do a halo. You know, sometimes I just, you know, I don't know where I'm going with an eye look. It's like sometimes I think I've got an idea. And then I just flip, switch, you know, flip script on myself. That's the funnest part about makeup. The funnest not the most fun, the funnest part of makeup is just flipping script, you know, and going a completely different direction from where I started or where I thought I was going to start. Because let's be honest, I really didn't know where I was going. I knew I was picking up this palette. I knew I was using the shade Mulberry and that was about it. So now I'm just going to take my blending brush. I'm going to go in for another tap of orange soda kind of blend out the border here so yeah I think I'm actually going to do that I think I'm going to take mulberry all across the lid and then we'll do a bit of a halo oh yeah see I mean just you know depending upon your brushes brushes make a difference you get like two completely looks completely different looks I'm having a hard time with words today but you get yeah two complete and total different looks same shadow, different technique, different brush. Isn't that just always so fascinating? Like, I cannot paint, like, a picture. I can't draw. But, boy, I can play with brushes here. And then the crease brush back through there. Just make sure we don't have any harshness or anything, you know. That's what my makeup always consists of, of constant back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Until I see what I like. I think, I don't know if I'm going to go Halo. Or do I want to, like, glissify this? 
That's a word too, glissify. I feel like I want to glissify. I've got these custom uh, cover FX drops in moons. <laughs> it's in um, moonlight and they're really pretty. And I feel like I want to take that like up through there. Yeah, I think I'm going to glissify. So that means I'm going to finish my outer corner and everything first to make sure that's good, deep, and dark because I'm not going to be really going back in there to play much. So I'm taking slightly stiffer crease brush and I'm going to go into one tap of Noir, our black shade. I'm going to tap it off twice on my little towel down here and just barely touching the skin. I'm going to circular motion it in that outer corner. Just to help deepen that up a little bit. Then I'm going to take my blending brush and then just blend it in. See, I always love just a tiny bit of black. Not a lot. Not that it's even really all that noticeable, but just to help deepen up that outer corner and give me some definition in there. I'm not even going back in the palette. I'm just going to use the same brush I just used over there and do that same technique because there's still plenty of product on here. Then I'm going to build that mulberry up a little bit more here on the outside and bring it in about halfway because I just want that really deep. Okay, so now I think I'm going to take Milk, my pencil here, Milk from NYX, and I'm going to paint some of that on right here. Yeah, we're only going to take it about right to where my iris starts. I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to go into Cypress Umber. I feel like I'm playing with all the matte shades again. I'm going to roll the brush, tap it, and then I'm just going to tap it off because I don't want too much in there. And I'm going to cut the crease. I have like this little palette thing here. It's actually, it's just like a candle dish, but I use it for my palette. So I'm going to place some of this on here, just like that right there. I'm going to take a small flat shadow brush and we're just going to paint it on. Oh my goodness. I'm going to take it right here around the inner corner. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, so yes, that is so pretty. So we're going to let that completely dry. And then we'll come in and we'll just put on some finishing touches. So now I'm pretty confident that that's pretty well dry. I'm going to go ahead and dip into Sultry again and just kind of feather that right there towards the outside of that just to help blend that in with the mulberry so we just don't have a harsh line there. Just kind of feathering it on a little bit. That metallic hitting that goodness. Oh my goodness, that is pretty. So now I'm gonna do some work on the lower lash line. This is the Lancome Hip, uh, it's the Drama Liquid Liner. I'm just going to push that between my lashes here, just softly. I'm not really pushing too hard, just softly. Then I'm going to take the pencil, or this isn't a pencil liner, it's a precision flat liner or shader, and I'm going to go into Mulberry, and again push that between the lashes. Then I'm going to take a slightly larger brush, going into uh, Orange Soda, just kind of help blend those two together. I don't want it to smoke it out or anything, you know, just, it really just helps blend them together. It takes that little harshness off the edge. Now you could definitely kick this up like 10 notches. I would say um, doing some wing liner. I don't really feel that the wing liner is necessary because we have so much going on here. I'm taking just a little bit of tempera and running up a, on along the brow bone here. I just love playing with makeup. Don't you guys like playing with makeup? I mean, obviously you like makeup, so... You know, it's fun to play with it. I also love to watch other people create. I hope you guys enjoy watching me create. I am so happy I can put on false lashes again. I miss these, something terrible. So while I'm waiting for those top ones, all that glue to be nice and dry, I'm gonna go ahead and cover all clump crusher water resistant, never a surprise, my lower lashes. Now I'm really, really wanting to play with this, uh, highlight from cover x just kind of like uniform thing so i'm taking what's left here on my palette i'm using my elf small stipple brush so after much debate with myself i've decided to go with the steela stay all day lipstick in the shade patina and so we're done this is our finished look 
So this was a lot of fun. I love just playing around with makeup and doing a little chit chat, though I don't feel like I was doing as much chit chat as I was kind of instructional, but you know, hey, sometimes that's just how it goes. Once again, I of course wanna thank you for spending a little bit of your time with me today. I truly, truly do appreciate it. Also, don't forget that I do have a big giveaway going on. It's a collective collaboration giveaway with the Geeks and Beauties community. I'm going to go ahead and link that up here on the screen. That will also be down below in the description box. You definitely don't want to miss out on that one. And of course, before you leave, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. You definitely don't want to miss out on any videos that I have coming up. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.